Yes, um, good day and welcome to another fantastic edition of Plus Spot. Definitely, um, I'm sure in previous editions of the program, you've been um, enjoying and um, getting um, informed about the updates in the world of sport. Just now, we know that um, in um, Delta State, um, the Steve Keshi Stadium, we have incident of uh, building collapse. And um, that's been what's trending as um, we speak. Um, joining me to just share a bit on that to be um, Ijoma Okigbo. Um, Ijoma is a well-known um, sport journalist um, in Nigeria. She works for the news agency of Nigeria. Um, Ijoma, it's good to have you on the show. Hi, yes, thank you, Mr. Shu. Good evening. Good evening. I know initially the plan was to just ask you about the preparation of the cricket event before we know about, uh, before the incident of um, uh, um, building collapse at, at um, the ongoing um, site at the National Sports Festival in Delta State. And we know that um, there have been, what did you hear about this um, building um, collapse that, um, that you can say one or two on? Yeah, okay, so um, I learned about this quite recently today, you know, it's really, really unfortunate um, to see this happen, you know, quite almost at the eve of the festival when everybody is gearing up and expecting that in a few weeks, you know, everyone will be at um, Asaba for the National Sports Festival. It's quite unfortunate. I'm not really very certain about all the issues going on, of course. Yeah, people, people are talking about um, that. Um, I've, I read a few reports where people are saying it's due to, um, you know, the work being horridly done, you know, just to be able to meet up with the time at um, the National Sports Festival before the National Sports Festival commences. So it's really unfortunate that this has happened. I also heard that, okay, it's, it's confirmed now that no life was lost. But earlier we, we had that some persons were injured and about two lives were lost. So it's great to see that no one, you know, was fatally injured in that, um, in that incident. But then it's, it's really unfortunate. And I don't know what the Ministry of Sports is going to be doing at this point, especially as that facility is really going to be, is really essential for the games to hold. I was brought about the um, issue of why should there be rushing facilities like this at this point in time, knowing that um, the Sport Festival is just from three week, weeks' time. Uh, w w what can you say about this, um, our die? Um, deadline rushes all the time where we want to prepare for events, especially in the sports world, the stadium and all that, and the international event. Why do you think there's always a dime minute of a rush for incidents like this when it comes to sport? You are one of the well-known sport um, um, journalists we have in the country. We want to share your view on that. Okay, well, um, I think I agree with you. You know, we, we really get to see some of these situations. Especially when um, there's an event going on, people wait to the dying minute before, um, uh, you know, they start to construct facilities. Like now, we see with the situation at the FIFA World Cup, sometimes you keep hearing that um, stadiums are still, are still, they are still under construction. I think that maybe to an extent, it has to do with the way funds are being released when it comes to sports. Sometimes for some government, um, it's, they really struggle to get money out for, for sports and on time. So sometimes when the funds are not released and on time, you know, we get to struggle to just meet up. I think that this, 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 that is one of the key issues with it, especially because some governments don't really see sports as, 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 as a huge business. You know, some of them just see it as something that is just there or that just um, people just should just anyhow just try to get to. So I think one of the issues is the, the, the finance, you know, to be able to meet up with some of these um, facilities all the necessities for sports um, events, I, I, can, I can imagine that maybe some of them, some of the finances are not released at the time and as when due. And then it also comes to, to, to the play of those who are the MOC, you know, how much are they willing to get things done? Those who are in the main organizing committee or the local organizing committee, how much are they willing to get things done? Because when, 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 when a state or when um, a particular location is being, is, in, is being expected to host an event, Immediately, the LOC is being, is being, is being um, inaugurated. How much are they kicking off the activities immediately to ensure that some of these things are being done on time? It's not you get to get that um, in a few weeks, you get that uh, we, are, we are 70 percent in, you know, in terms of completing some of the facilities. It's really, really poor. And we really get to hear that many times when it comes to sports. So we just hope that, you know, subsequently we get, we get it right in sports, really. 
Yes, now, can, can I say, I'll prepare, before we listen to what um, the Commissioner of Sport, um, in, uh, Commissioner of Information in Delta State has to say on this. How, did, how prepared do you think Delta, um, Ijoma, how prepared do you think um, Delta is with this incident? Do you think they were really prepared um, for this um, event? Um, I, I would say to an extent, but um, we've just seen that logistics-wise, you know, a lot of time when we when we when they when, when they call for press conferences and when whatever we read we get together oh we are almost read by eighty percent it's just um, some finishing touches but now we've been able to see that there's a huge lapse in terms of uh, uh, um logistics and rather in terms of facility and all that so for now I would say um to an extent they maybe 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 in other aspects they they might be ready but we have just seen that when it comes to facilities the job is not yet completed. Straight to um, the Commissioner of um, Information in Delta State, Charles Anyagu, um, who did a live video to confirm no life was lost. And he also asked to, the, to tell the world that um, the um, site um, workers, construction workers on the site have returned um, um, to the site for the continuation of um, the work. Let's hear what he has to say on this. Right behind me is the premises of... Uh the indoor sports hall that is being constructed at the Stephen Keshi Stadium. You can see right behind me the crane that is being used for this construction. It just happened that the operator uh, could not properly align the, the lift while he was trying to take up some very heavy uh, duty uh, equipment up the particular floor and it fell on the wall and that led it to crash as you've seen right here. Uh, just one person sustained minor injury and has since been treated and they have all returned to work. You can see individuals there who are still very busy. These are the workers. They are very much on site because we are moving with speed. So anybody who is reporting that we lost some persons here, that is not true. And anybody saying that the Stephen Kershi Stadium have also come crashing, that is not true. This is the Stephen Kershi Stadium. You can see we are still doing some renovation ahead of the sports festival. And everybody here is busy doing their job. The crane will still continue to uh, lift equipment because um, the contractor have also assured us that in less than 48 hours, this part of the wall that got cracked on account of this misalignment of the crane will be fixed. So please discountenance any report stating that individuals passed on or died on account of uh, this uh, uh, minor accident that happened at the venue of uh, this particular construction. It's a construction site, and so that's, that's the way it is. Yes, um, that's the Commission of Information, Charles Anago from Delta State, telling us that no life was lost, just a minor injury.